How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Great Ace Attorney Adventures. Yeah, yo. So, last time, we went to court, and we uh, cross-examined Tobias Gregson. And basically confirms that Mr. Natsume was pretty much there at the time of the crime, and we're screwed. And now we're going to try to persuade the jurors to not make him guilty. Keyword try. Try, yeah. So yeah, we'll hop right in. The juror's contentions. For pretty's sake, that old Nervanese oddity already invented himself, didn't he? If he said that a woman in green collapsed before his eyes, why, it can only have been the victim. <sighs> the man wouldn't have gone around the houses on his way back from the buck shop, not in winter. Shut up. <laughs> so the poor woman was attacked from behind, was she? How dreadful. I really don't care. Can we just wrap this up now? I've got work to be doing. <laughs> Your books, yes. Nice shop, that. My books? But urban books? Mm, no, not worth a visit. That fucking sucks dick. <laughs> the Bourbon books. The Bourbon books? <laughs> mm, okay. With only minor exceptions, the reasons for finding the defendant guilty are all too clear. When the stabbing occurred, the only two people at the scene were the victim and the accused. And the accused himself has admitted to seeing the victim in her green overcoat sink to the ground before his eyes. I don't know what you mean. Furthermore, we've heard from the inspector that the defendant then fled the scene. I must say, I would have ample grounds to convict this man already. He's pretty sus. <laughs> oh my god, did he you vented. hear that? Among us? Oh dear, <clears throat> even the judge appears convinced of Mr. Natsume's guilt now. Awesome. Ugh. Why do you have to run away like that? Dumbass! Who was supposed to have to leave in some phantom attack that nobody could see? This is impossible. How could I possibly make a case for the defense? Mr. Naruto, this is no time for grumbling. You have to lie. I, I can't do that. If we want to force the trial to continue... Yes, I know. I have to turn the tide. I must make the jurors change their minds. Well, it's kind of funny, but I, remember, I just remember whenever we first played this, uh, or technically my second time, but your first time, I just remember I predicted exactly what he was going to say. And you're like, how did you do that? How the did text you box that? hadn't even come up yet. <laughs> I know. That was so good. <laughs> I'm just remembering like really stupid moments from when right. we actually played this for the first time. God. We are very how close to flying territory, by the way. We are. So stay tuned, folks. Yeah. Well, four of them at least. Exactly. We have no choice but to forge to forward. Okay. You have the floor, counsel. Begin your summation examination. Yes, my lord. Ow, oh, that kind of hurt. <laughs> I have brain damage from that. My feelings. I just need to keep this trial going somehow. Whatever it takes. Come on, Ryunosuke. You can do it. Just believe. You gotta believe. Hey, so I have a sword. Basically, what I'm saying is if you don't change your fucking verdicts, we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> and I will have to use this. The defense's sword. I just like seeing uh, Inspector Gregson just chilling in the back. I Actually, like seeing... Yeah, that's gonna be fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's about to like whip out his phone. I like seeing the like l the fact that I don't know all of these characters actually have fucking legs. Like yeah, Naruto is actually standing there. Like I guess the the main series just hates drawing legs. Yeah, fair. For pretty sake, the little priest did it. Hold it! No. Um, excuse me, but what the fuck? <laughs> Aren't you? Yes, that's right. I was in the witness stand myself just two days ago. Huh. Yeah, we know. Yes, I had a feeling I knew your face. Or the side of it, anyway. Ah. If I remember correctly, you're a banker, aren't you? That's right. After the gold rush down under, I came back to London to work. And it was all going swimmingly until you started fossicking around. <laughs> Bruce Fairplay was a man of repute. And now I hate you. Wait, technically he shouldn't even be a juror, then, if he has bad blood with the defense. But yeah, exactly. I, I don't know. He shouldn't be there. Sorry? Don't think I've forgotten how you treated me the other day. I'm gonna make this man guilty just because I don't like food. You had me and that young hatter pegged as criminals. I would have sounded like Deku, but British. <laughs> oh, well, you know, water out of the bridge. Piss in the toilet, as I well, say. <laughs> Piss in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> well, no one says that. Now, there's all sorts of rumors buzzing around, and the police have been badgering me nonstop. If, if I could turn back the clock. If I could turn Well, anyway, back I don't know about the hatter, but at least I'm in the clear now. Thanks for nothing, dickhead. I'm free to make up my own mind about who's guilty and who isn't. 
Thank goodness. All right, maybe I might struggle to change this man's mind given our awkward history. Oh dear, I wonder what's become of Mr. First now. He's probably in the Dead. fire. <laughs> he joined uh, Mr. McGill. He did. <laughs> Oh, it looks like a latent character. Saw. You're right at that time of the incident. I definitely switched the words. The defendant <laughs> must have seen someone wearing a green overcoat walking ahead of him. Well, quite. That's precisely my point. Clearly, that someone wearing green was the victim. And clearly, that funny little Nippanese man with the disturbing moustache is the culprit. Fuck you. Okay. Let us not forget, madam. The defendant vehemently denies attacking the woman. Why, of course he does. If he admits to stabbing her, his life is over. Well, yeah, I mean, he might have killed somebody, but that's besides the point. I know. Anyways, the man is obviously a liver-faced coward, honestly, claiming the woman simply collapsed before his eyes. He, she literally did. Literally. But if that's a lie as you're suggesting, do you not think he would have concocted something more credible? Like, I don't know, getting rid of the fucking body? I'm sorry, I'm still focused on the fact that you said concoct. Did you just say cock in front of me? Oh, I really couldn't say. Yeah, I did. Say. What are you going to fucking do about it? I'm going to leave this courtroom right now. Someone else can fill my spot. Welcome oh. to Novel House. We make dick jokes all the time. <laughs> Welcome to Novel House, where our sense of humor is literally just balls. Hope, hope you enjoy. <laughs> oh, I really couldn't say. After all, you are foreign. Who's to say what goes through your funny little minds? That is so what fucked What are you off. even saying? <laughs> I can tell you what's going through my funny little mind right now, but you wouldn't like it. Oh it starts with a B. Bitch. That is so funny. That is such a good line. <laughs> and the way you delivered it was really good. I do declare the man has already made the admission. Admission. Motherfucker. How about I met you into this fist? Oh, God. He himself has stated that there was nobody else around. Surely the conclusion is obvious. No one else could possibly have committed this awful crime. No. <sighs> If no one else could have done it, the accused must be the man. Really, it could not be more simple. I changed the word. Yeah, but these cases are always anything but simple. Anything Your but? argument is compelling in its simplicity, I must admit. Oh my, you are too kind, my lord. Yes. Are we too going to kind. smash now? Um, no, you're oh, ancient. Well for her. <laughs> <laughs> you're a fossil, why You're would? a literal fossil. If we did anything, you would fucking die. Yeah, whatever, bitch. Anyway, talk um, to me. Excuse me? But you can't deny that there are other roots Mr. Nasume could have taken back from your books. Whoa, there are other roots in My the, books. the greatest attorney? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Oh, yes, like you drew on the map you mean. What was it? Calabash Road? Cabbage? Or something? <laughs> Precisely. Cabbage. But it seems to me that what counts is whether the little Japanese fellow actually went that way or not, you dumbass. <laughs> well, yes, that's that's true. <laughs> you dumbass. And at the moment, Brainlet, there's no proof that shows you did, is there? You must think you're really fucking smart. What did you well, just call yes, me? Well, yes, I, I do think I'm pretty smart. <laughs> this is true as well. <laughs> the kid with the law, well, I guess, no, yeah, he doesn't really have a law degree, but oh, like the, the smart guy is getting belittled by the dumbass on the stand. And he's <laughs> not not of those like, wait, oh, actually, God. maybe I am stupid. I don't know. This dude just looks like the kind of guy who'd be like, well, actually, you're wrong. <laughs> and I would like, fully believe him. Off as that person. And as I understand it, the accused himself doesn't remember which way he went, does he? <laughs> well, yes, that's annoyingly true. Also, why do you not have an accent? I'm built different. Winter nights are dark and cold, bitch. So the way I see it, you want to get home as quickly as possible. Maybe you should retire from your defense drama and get out of this court, because clearly Damn. you are not qualified. My city now. Well, yes, but why are you so fucking mean? Why is all this true? Actually, it's not. I'm American. So really, the only thing that makes sense is that he went home along Briar Road. I'm supposed to be convincing you here. I have given it a lot of thought, you know. I didn't just make up my mind on a whim that he did it. Except I did. You look I like mean, a I mean, there was some logical reason why I might have gone to Calabash Road Way. It'd be different. <laughs> I'd be happy to reconsider my position in that case. Honest, I would. Can't you tell by my pleading face? No. I'm a sincere man. Die. Hmm. The reason why Sasuke-san might have taken the longer way home. Can I yes. kill this guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go for it. You have a sword. Yes, a good reason. I don't imagine you'll be able to sway this young man's opinion without one. Voicing him is so much fun. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you're having a great time. <laughs> hey, why the hell are you up Hello! Whatever is the matter, young man? 
You're the wife of Mr. Gilliam, no. aren't you? <laughs> the landlord who rents Mr. Knott's maze room. Why do you sound like you're being attacked? <laughs> no. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is not allowed. If you're like connected with the crime in any way, you're yeah, not Yeah, you're not supposed to, to be intro. there. The master's wife? Where did you get your ideas, sir? I'm the maid, the maid, you understand. Actually, you're the beast. Excuse She's me? keeping up that charade. Ugh, this is going to be awkward. Uh, why didn't you mention this yesterday? That you'd be selected for the jury in this trial, I mean? Well, it... Fuck. I was told not to mention it to anyone until the day of the trial, you see. It was in the letter I received. The instructions were very clear, so I'm afraid I had no choice. I see. Anyway, Mr. Natsume, the defendant, takes lodging in your master's house, doesn't he? Yes, that's right. Although he's only been a little over a week now. Oh, wait, been in. <laughs> <laughs> and in that time, surely you must have taken stock of his character. Does Mr. Natsume look like the kind of man who would commit a crime such as this? Maybe. Oh my goodness me, yes. He's just the sword. What? Spending all his time in that dark and dingy room, sporting that unscrupulous moustache. <laughs> unscrupulous fuckhead. The man never speaks, so don't get me started on those shifty eyes. All the neighbors are talking about him. Dude is so introverted, what makes you think he would go out of his way to kill somebody? Uh, to each their own. I've heard them, you know. People think he must be building a bomb in there or something. <laughs> I don't think you should use that word in the courtroom. Biomb. Oh dear, poor Mr. Natsume. How could people say such things about him? I got a biome. A biome? Got a name on it. But the biome you all. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a harmless bookworm, nothing more. He's just a worm. He's just a worm. Well, you just called him a worm, so... A worm! Anyway, I'd be better careful. I'd better be... I'd be better careful? Yup. Anyway, I'd be better... I'm gonna <laughs> fucking kill somebody. I'd better be careful about inviting this maid to speak. She said enough damning things already, Duh. and I wish she would shut the fuck up. Yeah, you're talking to me! Hold it! Not anymore. Bitch, a man's life is on the line here, sir. This will take as long as it takes. Don't get clever with me now, son. My fist is gonna go up your ass. <laughs> my life's on the line too. So is my family's. Uh, what? The likes of you wouldn't understand. But a laborer like me can afford to take time off. If I don't work, I don't eat. Neither do the wife and kids. Believe me. <laughs> oh, I see. That must be very hard. I go to the union every morning to find out what needs doing. The old age of the work's taking its tough. This time of year, there's water and gas supply pipes bursting left and right and center. They're after cheap labor to get the roads dug up to fix it. It's a hard slog from dawn till dusk it is. You don't look like you were today in your life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you were out digging up the roads on the day of the incident as well, were you? Okay. <laughs> That's right. In fact, if I remember rightly, it was just round the corner from where it all happened. By that old bookshop it was. What? Another coincidence? That's right. Meerschaum Street it was. <laughs> Damn, I died for a minute. <laughs> On the map, Mr. Naruto, there are only three street motherfucker. <laughs> there are only three named streets. Three? That's more than two. Jury wow. number five. I need you to add that information to your formal statement, please. What's a five? What's the point in that? Can we just get this business over with now? Please, sir, it's important. Please. Please. Fine, I'll do it then. I'll beg you. The day it happened, I was digging up near Sean Street till dawn till dusk. Okay, just go to him, I guess. Hold it. I was wiping my beard. Hello. Uh, sorry. Folded, you say? Fold what? Fold <laughs> folded. you like a lawn chair? <laughs> uh, no, no. What? What I said was hold it. Hold these nuts. Ha! <laughs> oh! What I wanted to ask was, do you visit your books often? I'm about to visit your mom next. Wow, with zingers well, in the Well, she's not even today. here, so I guess I'll be going to the grave. I like old books <laughs> they have in here. Yes, I enjoy reading them. <laughs> this old, old fuck got, got words to say. <laughs> I always have words. That's my daily routine, you see. Coming up with the words. Same thing every day, including the day you're all talking about. <laughs> coming up with the words. And at what time did you visit your books on the day in question? <laughs> Sorry, sir. I'm trying not to laugh. Oh, you think this is funny? <laughs> well, I was picking up books all afternoon, and it would have just been before five that I left. That's my daily routine, you see. Same thing every day, <laughs> including the day you're all talking about. Wake up, roast a child. <laughs> just before five, you say? 
exactly when the victim was attacked. Are you sure about the time? Oh my god, no yes, no mistake there. I remembered it well. I wouldn't have said it if I wasn't fucking sure. <laughs> I'm not about to forget that day in a hurry. Not after the dreadful time I had. I was taking a shit, and then everything <laughs> just went to hell. Damn. What do you mean? I mean... Well, I was walking down Calabash Road when I slipped on some ice, and then I, my head came off. It was always worse <laughs> after the snow stopped falling. That's when it's most slippery. I knocked myself clean out, I did. I really thought my number was up. Wait a minute, let me get this straight. This happened on Calabash Road. That's right, I live in Cornpipe, you see. Heading down Calabash Road is the quickest way for me to get back from your books or your mom. Oh! Juror number six, I must insist. Now you add that information to your formal statement. You may worry about <laughs> significant. I'll just leave my mom out of this. Uh, sorry. Extremely sick? No, I'm quite alright now. You look like you're sick, though. <laughs> The I'm old man, the old man would definitely be the type of dude now that we've given him this personality to be like, <laughs> stupid, say what? What? <laughs> stupid, oh. say what? <laughs> it sends a shiver down my spine to hear the members of the jury so convinced of Mr. Natsume's guilt. Has anybody ever told you of a face that only your mother could love? Yes, actually. But I can't help feeling that some of their opinions are rather subjective. This old man is so mean. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, yes, my mom does love my foe. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, I see what you My mean. mom loves me. Oh, but nobody else does. I agree. It's the irrelevance of what some of them are saying that sends a shiver down my spine. Still, at least some of their assertions don't actually incriminate Mr. Natsume of anything. That's something. We must use that to our advantage, Mr. Naruhodo. Cunningly. Yes, you're right. Let's listen to the jurors again, carefully. And if any of their assertions are at odds, I'll pit them mercilessly against each other, and they'll fight in the gladi gladiator's arena. Like Beyblades? Yes, yes, don't hold back. Pit them all against each other. Or I'll use my Bakugan. Bakugan battle brawlers. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you? Oh, you. No, no. <laughs> you. He's, he's committed every crime in the book, let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> Those two statements are clearly at odds with one another. What do you even mean? He's doing a high assault. At odds, counsel. Explain yourself. <laughs> Please, don't point. It wasn't me, I swear. You sound like a faker. Yeah, what? Oh, I just want to get this done and dusted. I'll fucking fight this juror number three. Well, juror number three. Oh, me, sir. What What do you mean? No, the other number three, you fuck. <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> juror number five's words just now are extremely significant. You were also very fucking stupid and annoying. <laughs> Let's take a moment to consider the implications of what's been said on our map of the local area. On the day in question, Mr. Natsume visited this bookshop to purchase a number of secondhand books. And on the same day, we now know that there were wor works <laughs> being carried on a Meerschaum Street, making it impassable. Which means that the defendant's route home could not have taken him along Meerschaum Street and down Briar Road. Oh, yes, of course. What do you think, sir? <laughs> oh, I think you should shut the hell up. You can't argue with that, really, can you? Must have had a good two yards more than the pavement up. Every gentleman and gentlewoman that came along had to turn back and go the other way. If they did, they would die. <laughs> so the only conclusion is this. Anybody who went that way would be killed. Yes. The defendant must have taken the longer route back to his lodgings. See that, Vaughn Dickhead? Oh! Yes, I suppose he must have. I, I suppose that must be right, eh? Juror number three, you said the following. The man wouldn't have gone around the houses on his way back from the bookshop. But we see now that he had no choice. Yes! <laughs> Actually, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. My lord, Mr. Judge, sir, if I may. <laughs> you are so dead. My what? lord, Mr. Judge, sir, <laughs> if I may. <laughs> I, I don't think in all good conscience and I could say the man's guilty now. Or maybe he is. Yes, I'd like to see this trial continue so we can get to the bottom of what really happened. Get to the asshole, as they say. Wh who what? says that? We're not guilty. Am I right, guys? No. Not guilty? No. Anybody else? What about you, sir? <laughs> me. You got me messed up, kid. Well, all right then. If there's a hole in the prosecution's argument, it should be filled in, that's what I say. Um, hot sauce. Also, I think I rock my suit way better than yours. Your suit kind of looks like trash. Bro, he's gonna flatten you. I'm sorry, you what the fuck did you just say to me? 
Oh, well done, Mr. Naruhoro. That was wonderful, and they're fighting. Oh, God. Well, we've managed to change a couple minds at least. Oh, juror number three is dead. Damn. He strengthened our position somewhat. Can't believe we have to go to court for a different case now. Yes, <laughs> and it will prompt the other members of the jury to reconsider their stance as well. They'll be asking themselves if their current leanings are really right or not. They're wrong. No, if only... If we could just identify one more clue or discrepancy that would make them stop doubting Mr. Natsume. Bet. We might be able to tip the balance... Uh, fuck. Completely. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what we gotta do. Anzi is looking to bring this trial to an early conclusion. That's what we have to prevent, on whatever means we have at our disposal. Uh, I don't think you're gonna win. <laughs> you think you'll fight? Thank you, counsel. Who want the summonation examination, please? Yes, my lord. Alright. You? A woman in green, you say. <laughs> and he also fell, but he's wearing green. These two statements clearly show a flaw in the juror's reasoning. A flaw? What are you talking about, counsel? Well, juror number two, juror number six. Mm, no. My, whatever do you mean, sir? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really don't think he wants to be here. I think perhaps the old man didn't hear you. Unbelievable. It's not like I was loud or anything. <laughs> no, you fucking were. I was just ignoring you. <laughs> there is at least one fact of which we could be sure here. The bookshop receipt found in the defendant's room clearly indicates that on the day of the attack, he had been to your books and purchased a number of secondhand titles. He then returned home on foot. What, do you, were you going to say he fucking fly there? Of course he went on foot. <laughs> but the man says he has no recollection of his return journey. That's correct, bitch. Excuse me? But what me? he does, remember, is seeing someone appear in front of him on the way. Was it God? <laughs> it was God. No. I'm going to send you to see him in a minute. <laughs> someone in a green overcoat suddenly collapsed on the pavement before his eyes. God himself. Yes, we are well yes. aware of all of this. The poor young woman who was stabbed, obviously. Objection. Shut up. No. Can we really be sure of that, madam? My, whatever do you mean? I mean, are we sure? I don't know. I'm sure you heard juror number six's account of what happened to him that day. He ate shit. <laughs> and the same afternoon, there was somebody else apart from the victim, who was wearing a green overcoat who fell over on the icy streets in the neighborhood. They posted it in the newspaper. It was everywhere. <laughs> Man eats shit. Oh my. It was so funny. Funny me. Oh. My goodness. You, you mean. <laughs> You are really annoying. <laughs> That's right. I'm referring to, of course. To hard of hearing juror number six. Uh, are you really suggesting that the person in the green overcoat whom we... Fuck. The <laughs> defendant saw collapse in front of his eyes? Why are you, like, vibrating? Because I'm so pissed. Was the jolly old gentleman at the end of the bench with me here... With here, me today? <laughs> with with here, me, me today? here today? Me, Gungaga. <laughs> <laughs> that is entirely possible, yes. <laughs> After all, the old man has somewhat similar build to the victim. That's an old Look man, alright. Damn, my goodness me! <laughs> mm, sorry, you need a pee? Damn. <laughs> well, don't do it in here. <laughs> and crucially, here. we know precisely where the old man in the green overcoat fell. On Calabash Road, you idiot. That's right. Therefore, if the person who Mr. Nazme saw collapsing in front of him was in fact juror number six, it means the defendant must have taken the long route back to his lodgings. And if that's true, then clearly... You're all fucking idiots. The crime scene on Briar Road where the woman was stabbed was not on its way home. Oh my! Damn. You idiot old bad, if you hadn't been so daft as me rubbing about there, we'd have boxed this off hours ago. And really, what were you thinking wearing such a befuddled coat? I don't even know why you people are talking. <laughs> what did you say to me? <laughs> is it a crime for the elderly to walk in the streets these days, hmm? Is it a crime to slip over on the ice? Fuck all of Yes, you. it is. <laughs> is it a crime to keep up with the latest styles and wear a beautiful green overcoat? Is it? You're under arrest. <laughs> I'm actually Nobody a part cares. of the FBI. You're going to jail. <laughs> My lord, I do hope I won't cause any inconvenience, but... You'd like to change your leaning, I presume. Teehee. 
I do declare that I would. I should like to call my verdict of not guilty. <gasps> Thank you. You're not welcome. And I would too. What? <laughs> Is it a crime to change your mind? Is it? Well. Well, fuck you, I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> Green means go. <laughs> That'll show up. Ooh, you really got us. Ah, I did it before you. All right, you're not cool. You're going to die soon anyway. I'll take you with me. I presume you have oh, two okay. years. Okay. That's summation and domination is included with a large shift in opinion. Mark your calendar. Uh, what? The I. The I. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the the uh, yes. <laughs> the eyes too. The nose four. So the nose have it. Not guilty as a say. What are you saying, bro? <laughs> I don't know. This means we no longer have a consensus among the members of the jury. The trial will continue. I'm going to flatten all of you. <laughs> Starting with oh, this. Oh, yeah. That's <clears throat> good. That really wasn't even that good. <laughs> Could it seem churlish of me to drink from my hallowed chalice? Mo moments after raising an objection. Churlish. Only to crush it in disgust. Pray forget the discourtesy. I'm going to crush your heads next. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Von Zeeks! Oh, Don't. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> It seems I must retract my earlier remark. You're all fucking morons. What do you mean? I mean you're an idiot. <laughs> you mistakenly credited these jurors with intelligence by describing them as insightful. They must have rolled a four. Dang. Yet we have just witnessed them falling for a cheap trick performed by an Eastern entertainer. Did you guys pick the lowest stats for D&D &D and put them in your intelligence? Because clearly you did. <laughs> we did. I don't even know what D&D &D is. It's D's nuts and then something else. <laughs> Whatever do you mean? Objection. I haven't tricked anyone. Everything I've said is the truth. Also, I helped them with their character sheets, so they didn't <laughs> get the lowest score for intelligence. Wow. Oh, I think you did. Oof. Indeed, stalwart juror number five was undoubtedly repairing the road as he claims. Or eating the road. I don't fucking know what he does. I believe you said it was a good two yards of the pavement which you had excavated, sir. That's right. It took me the old day. They paid me measly top pence for it. I don't even know what that is. Now, my learned Japanese friend, tell me. Do you have any notion of the distance that two yards represents? Uh, um, well, if I'm honest, I don't have a clue, no. Two yards is a little less than two meters. Damn, I thought it was two football fields. Why did you say it like that? <laughs> less than two meters? That's not much at Mithris. all. Mithris. I thought it was two backyards. In other words, a distance readily vaulted by anyone of moderate vigor. Would you not agree, my stalwart friend? No, uh, me. Well, I can't say you're wrong, no. What? And did you perchance erect a sign to prevent pedestrians from passing your sight of the works? I swapped the words. I wouldn't dream of it. What a waste of time. No more coaches would have had a hope of passing anyway. We just turned any gentlefolk back when they come. Kiss yourself right over us all the time. The accused is no gentleman, as far as I can see. Not according to Professor Layton's standards, anyway. So true. I have little doubt, however, that he could spring over a two-yard trench in his meanderings around town. Ah, <laughs> that's crazy. Why do you scream in lowercase? <laughs> is that true? Is it? The incontrovertible truth is that the books just purchased by the accused were found at the scene. There can be no doubt that on his way back to his lodgings, Mr. Nuts may walk down Briar Road. Uh, crushed in a single sentence. And, old man. Gold man, you could talk. What? <laughs> uh, I don't even know what you meant by that. You say that around five o'clock on the day in question, you slipped and fell on Calabash Road. I wish I could have seen that. <laughs> Pray, was there a suspicious looking Nipponese behind you at the time? Oh, I, um, can't say as I remember. Useless. You don't remember? How about a wager, my learned friend? You say it was this old man that the Q saw, but I would lay a thousand to one against you being able to prove it. Ugh. You can't prove that he wasn't there. If I can prove that I never touched my balls, do you promise? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> You've never seen that? No. Oh my god, it's literally just like a, it's, it's someone sang over the Hamilton song. 
And it's like, oh if God. I can prove that I never touched my balls, do you promise not oh, okay. to tell now another I think soul? I know what you're yeah, about. okay. I was, like, what are you saying? I was just doing a dramatic version of it. Oh, my God. Order, order. Lord Von Zeeks, explain yourself. My Lord. If you had such a tre trenchant argument of your sleeve, why in the world did you not proffer it during a summation examination? Because <laughs> it was funny. I wanted to give this young Ford student the sightseeing experience he no doubt came for. I wanted him to see for himself how the opinion of the jury is so readily swayed. We already did that in the previous trial. <laughs> <sighs> but my hospitality has its limits, and they have been reached, I feel. So, my learned friend, today's sightseeing tour of London is now over. What are you talking about? My lord. The prosecution requests permission to call its next witnesses to the stand. Oh god. Granted. Bailiff, bring forth the witnesses. It's next witnesses. Mr. Narahodo, do you not remember? We've been told on several occasions that there were eyewitnesses to... Fuck, the incident. You know? Yes, I remember. One of them being a Scotland Yard policeman, no less. I'm afraid that's likely to be the prosecution's next witness. Alright, no matter who Von Zeeks brings to the stand as his witnesses, and no matter what they say... I believe in Soski's son. I know he's innocent. And I'll keep believing to the very end. Until this battle... Batter. This battle is over. I'm in your brain, too. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, it's there they them. are. <laughs> there they are. It's them. Witnesses. Please state your names and occupations for this court. It says state your fucking name. Hey, dumbass. Hmm. I'll literally oh. kill you. Constable Rolly Beat. S -S oh. Rolly Sah. Beat. Rolly Beat. Ha ha ha. Oh. Nothing to report it. on the street. Sir? Oh, he's saying sir. sir. I was like, what? Nothing to report on the street, sir. Oh, God, so his accent's directly in the text, too. Damn. Damn. Not gonna try and work with that. And I'm Miss Beat. Patricia's my name. I'm proud to say I'm this young town hero's wife. You look like you're 17. I'm going to kill you. Uh, what's the story here? What do you mean? Well, in truth, we've not been married long. Like In seconds. fact, we <laughs> we celebrated our first anniversary only the other day. First day? Anniversary? First day. Not first, first year. No, no, it was your husband I was asking about. He seems tired. Hardly surprising. Whilst being an honorable occupation, patrolling the beat is most demanding work in the world. Oh, really? I'm sure I've heard that before, actually. Indeed, apart from where a day's off, our gallant officers charge some 20 miles a day, you know. They patrol boarding houses and pubs, collecting taxes, survey the streets, check that meters are reading true, and they're responsible for keeping the streets clean, and lighting and extinguishing our streetlights. There are a number of items on that list that don't sound much like policing duties at all. I wouldn't just be falling asleep on my feet, I'd have collapsed long ago. But it goes without saying that a policeman's primary duty is the apprehension of criminals. You and these off-duty, a constable is expected to investigate and resolve any crimes on his beat. For the London Bobby is a man of honor. Bobby. Who's Bobby? Who's Bobby? <laughs> and a man of slumber. On the day in question. This man and his wife were walking down Briar Road in the opposite direction. And they witnessed the incident as it occurred. Is that not correct, Mr. and Mrs. Beat? That's right, sir. Isn't it, Rolly? What? I said, isn't what? it, Rolly? Constable Rolly Beat, sir. Nothing to report on the streets, sir. <laughs> His mm. eyes are so shiny. What a great witness he's going to be. Okay. Uh, very good. I'd like to hear your formal testimonies now, please. You will tell the court exactly what you saw in the afternoon of the incident. Yes, sir. Fucking if you fall asleep one more time, I'm going to rip your eyelids off. <laughs> what the witnesses saw. What the witnesses saw. Like we're going to see what the witnesses saw in the next episode. <laughs> oh boy, we're getting really close. <laughs> I love these two. They're so funny. They're so funny. So, 
next time on the Grenade's Attorney, we're going to cross-examine these two, and hopefully we'll get, probably get closer to the intermission of this trial. Yep. So, as always, if you all enjoyed, want to keep the series going, show us some love and support, you know what to do. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you all in, in the next episode. episode.